I thought by now we're gonna move past the Adam 22 situation and it was gonna die down. But unfortunately, content creators continue to apply the defibrillator and they revive it back to life. But the Jason Love thing is crazy. Yeah, Jason, I'm not even gonna lie. I would never let my man, like my girlfriend, get penetrated <laughs> by that man, like especially him. But... Lena, the plug Guess does shooting with today is finally junior. happening. Go get a dictionary. A 2023 revised Webster dictionary right now and looked up the word cuck. It would say cuck slash Adam 22. I know that last one sounds very torturous, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now that's actually a motivational video from TikTok of a father and a son. Come on. Yeah, so I just kind of wanted to showcase that to you guys because I already know where the mind goes and it's not exactly to Chuck E. Cheese. All right, aside from that, I want to go ahead and bring up this little uh, detail that I thought was very interesting, okay? And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to find it interesting as well, okay? So you guys know that Adam, he's been on this binge and odyssey to just promote uh, Lena the Plugs video. He's going out there just trying to make a fool out of himself because he wants as much attention on him as possible. And I have to hand it to him. As of now, he's gotten so much attention that if it was a PDF file, it would probably be beyond 500 gigabytes. However, one thing that I've noticed is that he's been talking to these content creators who have a large platform like Kaisenat and Aiden Ross. Hey, yo, my man, I got next. Huh? Hey, yo, my man, I got next. You said you want next? Nah, I said I have a good time with the best. You the best. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, we doing it. Hey, hey, hey. Onlyplugtalk.com. You, th you think XQC would be in there? Because if it's not going to be you, maybe it could be him. Now, normally, under these circumstances, if you're going onto another person's platform and you're just kind of conversing, I guess that's not exactly uh, promotion. I don't know. I don't know. It could potentially be because that's kind of what Adam and uh aiden ross are kind of doing they're just kind of just talking about it but he did promote it on kaisenat's uh platform yeah yeah hey hey we're doing it hey <laughs> hey hey only plug talk.com only plug aiden ross has an underage viewer base and i think that both kaisenat and aiden ross they both share audiences and this is because both aiden and kai are both a part of the w community who hosts a variety of streamers such as I Shall Speed, Judeon, Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross, and there's many more. And we know that Aiden Ross has an underage audience because when he was streaming corn, that was the question he asked. Wait, how old are you guys in the chat, bro? Jesus. And I think I remember watching a video over on Moo Kitty's channel where she talks about how if you're promoting corn to kids, it's potentially breaking the law. Obscene matter to minors. Any transfer or attempt to transfer such material to a minor under the age of 16, including over the internet, is punishable under the federal law. I do also want to go ahead and read this to you. It is also illegal to knowingly make a commercial communication via the internet that includes obscenity and is available to any minor less than 17 years of age. If this is the case, then it could potentially mean that Adam, he's kind of breaking the law. However, the thing is that it's very difficult to prove that he's breaking the law either way because uh youtube analytics or twitch analytics all of that stuff isn't exactly available to the public so we don't even know if kai Sinat and even aiden ross if they have an underage audience because even though aiden asked the question on his stream we don't know who's telling the truth obviously these these are just people who are just online they could type any number because if you guys see in a chat there's some numbers users that are stating that they're two years old negative five negative 30 like i mean you know obviously some people are going to be lying so we don't know who's telling the truth now i do want to go ahead and give you guys a discretion i'm not a lawyer okay there was a lot of lawyer jargon in that document so even if you do go and check it out for yourself it's gonna it's gonna be quite difficult to understand just because of the jargon the technical wording in that document nonetheless i want to go ahead and move on from that so now i want to go ahead and talk about what content creators have been saying now Everybody has already put in their two cent, you know, Abba and Preach, Playback, Jamari, but I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about Aiden Ross, even Sneeko. Sneeko had a couple of words to say. But first, let's go ahead and dive in with Aiden because apparently Tristan Tate had a couple of words to say to Adam. 
I mean, honestly, like the whole thing with us. All right, because Tristan Tate has been in my DMs like Yo. really. Kind of, he's been trying to talk me out of this. Like he really thinks that I'm making a mistake. He doesn't Yo. even know me. He just like showed up in my DMs wanting to talk about this, right? <laughs> and he tried to do the God argument. Wait, let me see if I can get Andrew in here. Hold on. Spoilers, he doesn't actually get Andrew Tate on. I wish he would have because that would have been very entertaining to see. But based off of what Andrew Tate said about Adam-22, it doesn't really seem like he's going to engage with him because that would probably be Haram in his eyes. He doesn't want to engage with anybody with that kind of influence. Andrew's going to do what he, Andrew's going to do, right? Haram. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Sneeko aspect of the video. And they were just communicating back and forth through Twitter. Um, I mean, it's not a big deal, but still very funny to me. Uh, a lot of people are proclaiming that this is cuck on cuck crime and someone should put a stop to it because a cuck is going to get hurt. Adam 22 was saying that it turned him on and he liked it, right? I was, I pretty much went down as like to face that probably for another couple of years as an example that this is not the way to go. Everybody will make fun of you for it. You will be traumatized when you're driving alone and be like, you'll just get images out of your head. Have you ever seen Eyes Wide Shut? When, uh, what's his name? Tom Cruise is driving in the car and he's having flashbacks after his wife is talking about the fantasies she has with soldiers and naval officers. And he's just picturing that. He's like, fuck, fuck. That was me, like, to this day. And I haven't, I haven't been with that girl since then. Sneeko, are you okay, dude? Because it really seems like you need somebody to talk to, man. Your mom, a therapist, a hand. You really desperately need to talk to somebody. He goes on Twitter and calls me uh, a fucking cuck. I said, nothing will corrupt a soul quicker than porn. That's true. Porn destroys men. Now back on Twitter, of course, Sneeko responds with, brother, it's not too late to delete your porn account. Think about your daughter's future. This is not the way. And if you take a look at the bottom post, you'll see that it reads, when you hanging out with your bro and realize he a cuck too. And it's just Spider-Man and Miles Morales just kind of bonding together because they can sense each other. So yeah, it pretty much ends there. He stops talking about Adam and just kind of moves towards the topic of a cuck. And then he claims that people who watch, uh, you know, a man having intercourse with another woman, that's them being a cuck, even if it's behind the screen. All the people that watch porn, you are literally cucks. You jerk off watching men fuck girls that you're attracted to. At least I was traumatized. If you watch porn, you pay for OnlyFans, which most of the people that roast me on Twitter do. You are a cuck by watching porn. That's what porn is for. It's a giant psyop to turn you into a cuck. That's definitely one way to view it. However, I feel like if you're gonna be a cuck, at least you have to engage with the action, you know? I mean, engaging with it behind the screen isn't exactly the same as engaging with it if you're right in front of it and you're kind of manipulating the scene in your own way. That to me is a cuck, but I, I to each their own, right? Yeah, so that's, all I really wanted to talk about. I don't really have anything else to add to it. Um, yeah, man, that's all I got for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today.